Do you see parts of yourself in him already? Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. He's a hell yeah, and he's wild. Is he? I, I can deserve imagine it. Yeah. you would have a wild child. Yes, yeah, I know. Everyone's like, you had it coming. <laughs> Hey friends, it's your girl Emily Curl. We're here at iHeartRadio in New York City and we are hanging out with the one and only Elle King. She's here with us. Good morning, Elle. How are Hi. you? Good. How are you? I'm good. This is a special day for us because it's not often as a host when we celebrate a new album that we actually get the artists on the album release day. Aww. Come Get Your Wife is out now. Yes. You can officially come and get your wife. Yeah. <laughs> it's time. Now I know everyone's asking like how you're feeling with the album out, but I'm curious just for you right now, how are you feeling in this moment? Album's out. I feel really excited and um, I think any other process that I've gone through of releasing any amount of songs or any album or EP or anything, I've always been so anxious about it. And this, the, the whole experience of making this album was so freeing and so fun and so rooted in joy and love. Um, I've just felt great the whole time, even doing the late nights and all day today. Like, I've just been calm, so I don't know if it's before a storm or if maybe <laughs> this just could a just good sign. <laughs> go well. I don't know. It's new for me. It's but. funny. The last time we saw you, we were just talking about this, was like in the pandemic through Zoom, and we were playing a drinking game, but you weren't actually drinking because you were pregnant at the time. Boo! <laughs> I'm curious. What was your first drink after, after you had your son? Definitely a White Claw. <laughs> oh, what flavor? Um, I like mango. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> um, so now you're a mom. Yeah. Congrats on that too. Thank you. What's the best part about being a mom? Just seeing him evolve and grow and seeing what parts of my partner are in him and um, how much he loves music and um, he's totally just changed my life and made me hopefully a better person. I think so, but it's just life started when he came out. Do you see parts of yourself in him already? Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. He's a hell yeah, and he's wild. Is he? I, I can deserve imagine it. Yeah. you would have a wild child. Yes, yeah, I know. Everyone's like, you had it coming. <laughs> yeah. Um, your song, Lucky, you said, is about him on the yeah. album. It's such a beautiful song. Thank you. And we were just talking before that he knows the songs about him. He does. Uh, the day that I wrote it, I went back to the hotel to were on tour, and I played it for him, and he was still so little, but he kind of, you know, he was reacting to it, and we've played it so long. Um, since we wrote it, that he knows it's his song. Obviously, I'm singing his name a bunch, but he'll go up and put his hand on the speaker, and it's very, very sweet. And how did you guys come up with the name? Lucky? Yeah. You know, we waited to find out what gender the baby was going to be, and we couldn't ever decide on a girl's name, and we just knew, eh, if it's a boy, his name's Lucky, and when he came out, it just, I don't know, I think you we just, just always knew. knew, yeah. I think they, I think they pick. You know? Aw, yeah. I love that. Um, let's talk about the album for a second because Come Get Your Wife has a story behind it. Yeah. Tell us about that title first and foremost. Um, a guy was being, a, I was also being a total asshole, um, but it was in a fun kind of way. And I don't know if I pushed things too far, but I definitely was making some hardcore jokes and um, somebody shouted like, over me to my partner, um, Come Get Your Wife. I was like, oh, that's a great album title. Um, and also, you know, it's weird to kind of go through these experiences of yeah. life and having, you know, a lot of men that work with and for you support you as a female boss, as a woman in mm -hmm. this industry and in this world, and sometimes be reminded that not everybody has that. But not just because I'm yeah. a woman, I also know that um, I can grate on people and especially if someone doesn't really accept themselves for who they are inside, mm. yeah. maybe it might be hard for people to see the world accept me if they do, you know, as myself, my true authentic self, no shit's given. And yeah. um, I think becoming a mother has really strengthened, strengthened my empathy muscle. And so I try to just be kind with it. And I mean, if I can be creative with something that might've been painful or something, yeah. I call it my like long game retaliation, but okay, right. I win this round, yeah. On that same note, this is your first country music yeah. album. Have you found that the country music community, um, Nashville, all the artists, the fans, have been accepting of this project and of you as a country music artist? So far, yeah, definitely. I mean, the country fans are really 
totally so different than anything I've ever experienced. And I have felt, um, not just from the fans, but from the whole musical community and everyone in Nashville, I felt very, very welcomed. And I, I felt this sense of home as, as soon as I kind of walked behind the carpet and, or on stage. And um, through that, I felt a lot of freedom in making this album. Um, mm. which helped me with my own kind of validation of my ideas and you know even just self-confidence and everything so it's been a, a totally life transforming experience that um, I'm very proud of and happy to be present for. Wow. The album is badass Thank and so you. are you. Thank you. So we rounded up some trivia questions from other badass powerful women and we thought we could play a little game with you. Are you down? Yeah, I'm in. Okay, so we have a few trivia questions and I'm going to give you the, uh, the question and a few multiple choice and you tell me the correct answer. Are you ready? Question one. How many times does Beyonce say single ladies in her iconic song? Is it A25, B7, C14 or D62? 62. Incorrect. It's actually 14. I thought it was like 14 in the first two courses. <laughs> to be honest, we had to double, we had to triple check that answer. To be fair, I'm not a mathematician. <laughs> I was like, how many verses are, how many courses are? Great. Okay, are you ready? Which one of these names is not one of Kim Kardashian's children? A North, B Chicago, C Cassius, D Psalm, E Saint. Cassius? Yes. Oh, good. Woo! There we go. I'm embarrassed to know the answer to that. <laughs> we all do. <laughs> okay. How many iHeartRadio Music Awards is L. King nominated for? A1, B2, C3, D4. Two? It's two. First and foremost, congratulations. Thank best you. collaboration for Drunk and I Don't Want to Go Home and yeah. Best New Country Artist. How exciting is it for you to, to be on that nomination list? I, I felt extremely honored. Um, iHeart's been really incredibly supportive for my whole career. And um, to see that uh, as I'm going into this new chapter and expanding kind of my music, I, I was very, very honored. Well, we're so excited to have you there. Um, if you can do well on the next quiz. If not, then we're going to have to kick right. you off the line. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, just kick my ass out. Yeah. <laughs> Question five. On Before He Cheats, what kind of car does Carrie Underwood dig her key into? Pretty little souped up four wheel drive. Let's go! Yeah. Okay, finish the lyrics of Shania's iconic song where she drops a very famous celeb name. So you're blank. That don't impress me much. Is it A. Tom Cruise, B. Brad Pitt, C. Rob Schneider. And <laughs> <laughs> not that one. I think Tom Cruise? It's Brad Pitt. Is it? It's Brad Pitt. Please don't tell Shania. <laughs> no, but you know what's funny is we've all said all different things on our team. We, I made everyone quiz it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's rough. That's rough. I'm embarrassed about that one. Okay. In your opinion, what is Taylor Swift's best album? Is it A, 1989, B, Midnight's, C, Reputation, D, folklore. I created this question, so this is totally up to personal interpretation. <laughs> um, I think 1989. Yeah? Yeah. I love that. Okay, we'll take it. Which fellow mega successful artist is Dolly Parton's goddaughter? It's A, Miley. It's Miley. Yep. <laughs> the Flowers era. Okay, last question is, what is the name of your new album? A, come get your dog. B, come get your laundry. C, come get your whiskey. D, come get your wife. What do you think? Come get your wife. Let's go. L King, everyone, can we get up? Congratulations. Great job in our Thank trivia. You. And congratulations on the album. Thank so you. good to have you here. Thank you. And of course, for everyone watching, make sure you go stream all of L King's music, including her new album, Come Get Your Wife. It's out now on iHeart Country. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys.